Hi guys. All right. So, um, good morning. Um, I'm doing my get ready with me for next week today. It is Friday the 11th. Um, so yeah, we're going to be leaving on the 13th to go camping for a few days for my husband's birthday. And so, um, we will not be home. Oh, my mirror is dirty and I just cleaned it because I'm desperate for all of that crap. Um, so I will not be home to film it. <clears throat> I'm excited because we're going to try some new products that you guys have seen. Um, and then I'm going to show you a few others um, that I've received since last time. And then um, the not this one that I'm going to put up on Monday, I'm going to put up for you guys on Monday. Um, but the next one for the following week is going to be mostly Tarte. I have that Tarte palette that I showed you guys. My last get ready with me I'm super excited to try. I have a contour palette that's coming. Um, and then I just have um, a few other tart products. Um, one other to show you today. I would try to get maybe a tart highlighter. Is that tart? I think that's Too Faced actually. Hold on. Let me look in here. This is Too Faced highlighter, so I need either tart highlighter. Um, I would try to pick up one of those in a primer, but I do not have a tart primer. I do not. Okay, so one of these items I actually um, have already tried. I tried it yesterday and I like it. So I'm excited to try it again. Um, so I got the Revolution <clears throat> Concealer and Hydrate, and I think this is one I showed you guys. And then I also picked up their other one, which is the Conceal and Define. So we're going to try the Conceal and Hydrate today for our foundation. But the few items I wanted to show you is I have a new brush. I'm not sure how you pronounce this name, so I'll just show it to you. Um, it's a foundation brush. I did use it already. I used it yesterday and it worked really well. Um, I cleaned it, but there's still a little bit left on it. That is the name of it. I like it. I think it works very well. I think it's this way. So that's the name. Um, I have ordered um, other brushes, so I'm excited for them to get here. Um, and my Ipsy replacement bag is on its way, and my Ipsy Plus is on its way. And I did, um, from last time I talked to you, I signed up for BoxyCharm, and I'm just waiting for them to ship that. Um, I also shopped in their charm room and got two brushes for $6, the Baddington brushes. I heard they're really great, and I thought that was a completely awesome deal to get two of those for 6 bucks. Um, so we're not just going to have Morphe brushes. Um, I want to try the Farrah and Lexi brushes as well, which Lexi is one of the ones that I, um, just ordered and that is on its way. Got the email this morning. All right, so we're going to try this today for our foundation. And go ahead and just leave it out. I'm also trying something new. Instead of, like, picking the makeup that I want and bringing it in here and putting it in one of my Ipsy makeup bags, I just brought my entire tote with. Might be a little bit easier, especially because our counter space here is very small. Um, and then the other item is the item that I've already tried, but like I said, um, I think it worked well and I liked it and I'm excited to try it, is the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear 3 in 1 Setting Powder. So this one's to bake, which I have not used. Um, I don't bake under my eyes. Um, I might try that technique one day, but not doing it right now. This is um, a brightening um, powder and I used this for under my eyes yesterday and I think it totally like woke them up and brightened them in my eye area and then this one is to set and did a good job. So we're going to use that today as well. Um, and then the two item, two last items I have to show you is a Tarte product so we will be using this in my next get ready with me. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Amazon Clay Waterproof Bronzer. Adorable packaging. Um, they did have the, I got this at Ulta, they did have the bigger one, but the lady was actually really nice, I asked her how much that big one was, I mean, it was pretty huge, and she's like, well, we do have a smaller one, so I like that, I like when sales women, or sales people, um, <clears throat> don't just steer you towards the expensive, the bigger products, like that type of stuff, like, they're like, oh, you were interested in this, um, but here's a smaller version, you know, so instead of trying to get all their money. And it's actually quite a bit in it for a smaller version. And it, it looks amazing. It actually, I didn't have it taken the plastic off, but I have smelt in it and it doesn't have like a strong smell and I can't really describe what it smells like, but it smells good. Um, 
it smells like the big palette that I showed you guys in my last get ready with me. That one's also Amazon Clay. I'm so excited. So excited to try that one. Um, we'll see you guys next week. The eyeshadow palette. So that. And then it's got a mirror. Um, which is pretty cool. Did I take the plastic off the mirror? I don't think I have. Oop. Maybe I have. Because <laughs> I might have just scratched the mirror. I don't know. I don't know. The plastic's still there. It's all still plastic though. Um, it was still on the box too. So I'm going to put it back in the box so nothing happens to it before we get to use it. But I am excited to try this for sure. Um, but not today. Probably next week. And then the last thing I have to show you guys that we will be trying, I think, next week. What did I have? Yes, next week I already had a different highlighter um, picked out for today. It's a Too Faced Diamond Highlighter. They had three other ones, but I just thought this one looked beautiful. Um, and the back says, this one-of-a-kind highlighter is infused with real crushed diamond powder and light reflecting pearls to create a rainbow diamond fire glow like you've never seen. Light up your complexion for a pure radiance that works on any skin tone. Swirl the pink, blue, and gold shades to create your custom highlighter that can be used anywhere. The liquid dip powder formula is hand poured, ensuring that no two highlighters will ever look the same, just like a real diamond. And it's such cute packaging. And it says it's your time to shine. And then it's got that in there. Then take it out of the box. It's like you got a ring, ladies. And then that's what it looks like. Totally looks like you have a ring. But look at that. Super gorgeous. I think. Sorry, guys. My. Lighting might be a little too bright to show it to you guys very well. I mean, you can see it a little, right? It's also not wanting to focus here. I think it's better if I have it back like this, but that's gorgeous. So I am super excited to try that. Always bring it up. It's a little expensive, but a little goes a long ways with highlighters, at least in my opinion and for me. All right, so we're going to put those aside because we're not using those today. Um, if you're wondering what happened here, yeah. Um, last night, I decided to try the new technique, dry shaving, to see if it helps my face. Like, my face really is very um, free of hair, <laughs> um, but I cut myself with the dry shaver. Yeah. So, hopefully, um, foundation will help with that, right? All right. So, today, um, we do have some new products that um, I have been dying to try, sample sizes, full sizes, all of that. Um, we are finally going to break into my Smashbox, Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer sample size. I've had this for, God, almost a month, I think. So, that's going to be our primer. I heard it's amazing. Um, I heard that the Maybelline primer, that's a dupe for this one. So, if you can't afford this one, because I've seen it go for like 25 30 bucks, then just... Get the Maybelline one. And I don't know how much I need, so I don't want to go too crazy. I don't know when I first got the professional primer. Maybe went a little a little crazy about it. And you can always add more if you need to add. So I mean it's always better to. I know I've heard this is like um you know, you pin this up against the poor professional primer. Some people have really loved um, this one over poor professional primer. Some people have loved both. Some people have loved poor, poor professional primer more. So I think, you know, just personal preference. Whatever works for you, works for your skin. I'm going to try to avoid that cut because that's really going to burn if I get it in the cut. And I'm really hoping foundation would cover that today. I've heard amazing things about this Revolution foundation, so we're going to try it. And I'm good for a little bit. I tried that, um, my last Get Ready With Me, I tried the Anastasia um, eye primer. Oh, wait, we have eye primer today. Oh. Oops. Well, I guess we will not be trying the eye primer today. That is in the palette <laughs> that we'll be using. But next time I use that palette, um, I will try the eye primer and let you guys know. I'm sorry, guys. I totally, totally spaced. 
woke up like an hour and a half ago, got up, did my skincare routine. I've already got my moisturizer on. I put some Burt's Bees chapstick on. I'm looking, I've been looking at the um, Sugar Rush, the Tarte Sugar Rush lip balm. I've been looking into that about maybe purchasing one. Um, I just, it looks so small and it's like 12, 13 bucks. I don't know. I just think for the size of her, it's bigger. Totally worth Alright. Now uh, let's look and see. I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, um, I've used that professional primer for like a couple of months now. I've used it every day. I think it did pretty much the same as the professional primer did. So and they're about the same price. Um, I am gonna, um, not right now because I have that one to finish as a primer. We have another brand new primer. We have this primer which I used yesterday, which I think worked pretty well. Um, I heard hard candy isn't the best, but this one worked pretty well. So we have this one, we have a new one. Um, oh, I didn't show that to you guys. That's another new product. So let me pull that out and show that to you guys. And we have that primer. Um, I still do have a little bit of professional primer left, and then we still have a sample size um, Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh Primer. So we still have this primer, <laughs> this primer, which is full size. This one's just sample. We probably have one more use of this, um, and then did I say? And then that Anastasia Eye Primer, which I don't know. It, when I tried it, it dried out. I didn't like it. Didn't like it. Um, yeah, and then the one that I'm about to show you guys that we will probably try next week or the week after if I don't find a Tarte primer to go with that one. Um, this one I just got like not even a week ago. So so it's okay to sit in there for a little bit. Some of these, like I said, I've sat in there for a month. But I just received this. This was Pores No More Luminizer Primer by Dr. Brandon. Full size. So I'm excited to try this too because I heard this is amazing. Um, so I'm going to put this back in the box and I hope probably in the next couple weeks I will pull it out and we will try it. So we still have quite a bit of primer to try um, and use up. So at some point I do want to buy that Maybelline um, primer that's the dupe for the Smashbox and kind of compare them. Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and dig into our Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. I'm going to use that brush. Oh, it's hot in my bathroom today. So this week I had a weird week, like for days off. It was a, oh yeah, it's like that. Oh, my God. It's so weird. Oh, I'm just going to. Um, actually, let's do eyes first. Sorry, guys. I know I just put that on my face, too. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes first just because we have a new, um, I go back and forth. There's times that I'll do, um, my eyes last and do my, at least my foundation primer and all that first. Um, I'll probably put some more primer up on top. I already put the primer on, so I mean, it's not, you can't really do anything about that, but, um, but yeah, sometimes I will do that first, but. I didn't think about it. It's a new foundation, so I don't know. I mean, a new eyeshadow, so I don't know if it's gonna have a lot of fallout or not. But yeah, my day's off this week. I split days off, and I don't like it. I hate split days off. Okay, so I'm just gonna reapply some primer up on top. Since I probably just wiped some of it off and all of it from having to take that foundation off. Hopefully you don't ever use the sand. <laughs> just, oops. I'm sorry guys, I'm kind of all over the place this morning. I'll wake up and be fine here in a few minutes. And I'll get fully awake. All right. We apply the primer there. Okay. Now um, we are going to play around with the Auto Bomb Pick Perf Shadows on the Go. Palette that I showed you guys um, in my last get ready with me, and I showed you the stuff that I got. Like I said, if I don't have a bunch of stuff, if it's not like a like bulk 
a bunch of stuff like a bulk get ready with me i'm just gonna kind of show these things to you guys and make it ready with me instead of doing a video for like four or five items you know i can't find that yeah kind of find it pointless um i'm so excited to get some new brushes too all right i'm gonna pull this a little bit closer to me guys hold on all right um Got something for you. Oh, wait, I have this. I have this. Did I show this to you guys? The sh shadow swatch <clears throat> or <clears throat> shadow switch makeup brush cleaner for eyeshadows. Totally forgot I had it. So, we're going to use this for the first time. I haven't had to use it yet, which you know, surprisingly, because I don't have very many eyeshadow brushes. But that's a change in ladies. I'm so excited to get my uh, boxy charm. And my Ipsy. I mean, they did really good make you know, fixing the Ipsy problem with my glam bag by sending me a replacement. So, you know, they they and it wasn't even their fault, it was my post office and they still did a replacement bag and refunded me um for my add-ons because they didn't have them anymore and they said so they couldn't promise that the items in this bag is gonna be what I would have had in my June bag, which is totally fine. I just want my bag that I paid for. All right, so here are the colors. That's the primer that <laughs> I totally forgot about. I didn't try. And I did swatch it, um, as you can see, and it's like a really creamy primer. That's pretty cool. Um, I think, man, that's a lot of shimmer. I think all of these are shimmer besides down here. So I'm thinking, um, hmm, I don't really want to shimmer up on my eyelid. So I think we're going to do Pennsylvania. And then probably do St. Charles um, on the outer corner. And then maybe for the lid, do either Market or Ocean. Or Rodeo, sorry. So let's just go ahead. Ooh, Pennsylvania is very green. So it is a good amount of fallout, it looks like, in the pan. So I hope that's not the case on the eyes. That's why I that foundation off and decide not to go with the foundation for that reason just in case yeah this is very green so that's okay I don't care I don't think we have any plans today I think we're just staying home Miss Lily went to stay the night with a friend last night so she's coming home here shortly um, it was just me, the husband, and Violet last night. I don't think there's plans to go anywhere, so. I don't really care about my eyeshadow color. Doesn't look too bad. I feel like it's coming across a little darker on camera. And in the real life, it's not as dark in person. See, I'm excited. We're going camping for the hubby's birthday. It's been a bit since we've been camping. I've actually never gone camping with my kids. Can you believe that? I love camping, but a lot of times, like, they've gone camping with their dad when he's, it's been his turn when we had split custody. Whenever I had them, they always had like their sports stuff to do, or you know, it was always we were always pretty busy with that type of stuff. So we're finally going. I mean, they used to go camping with their dad all the time, but I think a lot of that was powered by their dad. You know, he was on drugs. He wanted to go do stuff. Um, any updates on that for you guys? Um. Honestly, I feel like, I don't know, normally I could tell if he's like relapsed or not. I'm pretty good about being able to tell that, but I honestly don't know. Um, he has this girlfriend and I think this girlfriend isn't, I mean, she, I don't think she is herself, like, so I don't think herself per se is influencing him. I think having a girlfriend is, and he's obviously breaking some rules by curfew and whatnot things like that so I don't know 
it's on him, you know, like he's, he's a big boy. I'm not gonna stress about it anymore. I used to. I'm gonna just pick up my eyeshadow C brush from Elf and clean it off so I can kind of um, clean up some of this. I just, I used to worry sick all, all the time. You know, and I mean, of course, because my kids would go over to his place. But I can't anymore. Like, it's just, it's a lot to constantly be worrying. He only gets on card. I'm going to try to blend this out with this brush real quick. Um, he only gets them two days a week. He gets them every other weekend. So he'll have them this weekend. Um, from Saturday at 4 p.m. to Sunday at 4 p.m. So for 24 hours, twice, twice a month. Okay, I'm gonna actually gonna do too bad blending it out. I don't know why on camera here it's looking like super dark, but that's actually pretty light here on this side. I'm not sure why it's picking up like that because it's not in in this mirror I have right here and this mirror on here. So. I'm not sure. Let's brighten this mirror up. Is it gonna brighten up? <laughs> All right. Well, I just I just lowered it again. So I guess. There we go. That's better. Yeah. See, it's not. It's not as dark though as it looks, I promise. All right, so now we are going to jump into St. Charles. Sorry, I totally forgot what I was doing. Um, let's get that brush back. And I want to, I'm gonna use the detail mode brush right here. See if that helps. Helps placement better. But yeah, um, I don't know what else. I don't write much more as far as like updates in life and stuff. Just been busy with work, busy with kids, um, busy with being excited for my AC Plus and my BoxyCharm new subscription. I'm so excited. Um, I was told that new charmers will get like for their first box, they will get items from previous boxes, which I'm not mad about. It doesn't bum me out because I saw some items from the June box that I really wanted. I was like, dang it, why didn't I sign up, sign up in June, you know? So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with not getting July stuff. I mean, July stuff looks really good too, but there's some really good stuff in the June box. Even though it is one item I really want in the June box, and I found it on Macari. It's that um, Tarte Contour Palette that is on its way to me. I'm supposed to have the day we leave. So, you know, what's nice about having a P.O. box, we'll get it before we leave because we're not leaving until afternoon. So I can open that pretty girl up and I can check it out before we leave. Because I'm checking out before we leave. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not bringing it with, even though I joked with my husband, I was like, yeah, watch this, you're going to walk in the tent and catch me doing a get ready with me or, <clears throat> you know, filming the video at least or, or catch me doing my makeup, but I'm just playing. It's his birthday, it's a family thing, and I love camping. I love rugged camping. That's how I like to camp. I like to rugged style camping. So that's all just pretty light, but you know what? I'm not trying to go for a very bold look today. So that's okay. Um, I'm now going to take my crease brush. It is very like bendy, and I just want to kind of um, move some of that shadow that I just put up on the top lid. Um, 
up here. So I'm gonna blend that in to the other color. And then we're gonna do Then we're going to do our base and we'll be done with our eyes. Let's go this way. It's <laughs> such an awkward feeling, like crossing your arms to do this. Excited to go, just cutting it away. We were gonna do silverwood, but we just um, right now they um, in the town that it's in, it's not required to wear masks like it is in our town. Um, if you're out in any social gathering, but I don't know, we just we were gonna go from the time that they opened to the time that they closed and. But if if they change their mind and decide to make it a requirement, um, we'll have some cranky kids. I mean, not to I'm not gonna lie. I'll be completely honest. I'll be cranky too, having to wear it. You know, <laughs> wear a mask all day for like 12, 14 hours, whatever that may end up being. So we decided against it because it's pretty likely to be honest. They'll probably start requiring a mask. And I still want to do with cranky kids. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm trying to keep it just kind of neutral and light today with the eye looks. I think we're going to dive into that one market. And I'm picking up my Morphe E15. It is a bigger brush here. But actually, no. Let's do a smaller one for the lid. We are going to, if I have an idea for that one, um, we are going to do the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. These are some very pigmented, good colors. I like them. Um, I mean, I don't think they're super, super bright, which is perfect for the look I'm going for for today. And I think that's kind of what this sh this is. It's not supposed to like be a very bold palette, but for the colors that are on here, on here, very, very nice and very pigmented. Like I said, there is some fallout in the pan, but I have not seen any fallout on my face yet. And I feel like it's gliding on very, very nicely. I mean, this is extremely easy eyeshadow to apply. So, I'm happy with it. I think I only paid like $9 for this on a uh, so what's everybody's plans for today? Well, it will be Monday, <laughs> not actual Friday, because like I said, I'm filming this for next week's Get Ready With Me video. That way, there is one for next week. I wonder... Hmm. I was thinking about bringing that color up, like up here in the crease, but I don't want to. Nah, I think I'll just leave it. I don't want to mess with it too much. All right, so we are done with shadow. Now we're going to hop into our eyeliner mascara. And for eyeliner today, we are going to still do the Tardis double pin. Um, we're going to use the Pencil side, I don't know why I put that palette away. I need that for my eyes. Still, I need it for my eyeliner mascara and then I'll put it back. Alright, let's see. I actually didn't close this and I put the lid on it and probably just film it all, but it looks kind of fun. Um, and then this is what this side looks like. I haven't tried this side yet. I think I might do it next week. Or week after, I guess, for that, get ready with me. So, all right. 
I always have to concentrate, so I'm sorry, ladies. Gonna do my eyeliner because I have very, very watery eyes, very sensitive eyes. Hopefully, I don't concentrate. Is there any like new news for you guys in your town as far as coronavirus? I don't think there's anything really new here other than just we've had like, gosh, I don't know. I want to say like 12 new cases in our county since we reopened, which in my opinion goes to show reopened too soon. I think that's for the whole country. I think every place reopened too soon. I get wanting to get businesses back up and running. I get wanting to get people back to work. I get that. I, you know, I've been one of the lucky ones and had a job through this, but, but still, like, um, at what cost, you know, um, I'm not too happy with the president right now. And I don't normally talk politics on, you know, with pretty much anybody because that's such a hot topic. My husband and I don't talk politics together because we disagree. He's, I mean, I guess he likes Trump, but there's also things, especially recently, that he has done that he doesn't approve of. But he voted for him. I did not. Um, but anyways, I just don't, I can't believe that he is saying if, schools don't go back to school in the fall he will be cutting their federal funding like he thinks there's no reason for them not to and i'm like seriously these are children like kids how do you how how are we going to social distance if social distancing still needs to be happening when they go back in a couple months which i'm pretty sure it will be so seriously dude seriously like I mean, the schools here have said that they're still planning, too. So, they have said they're still planning to go back. And, of course, I want my kids to go back to school. But I just think that was an ignorant thing to say. And I don't like him more for that. Because I don't really like him in the first place. But we we'll are stop talking about that. Because, like I said, I don't like to talk much about politics. Because it just brings up arguments. Where's my mascara? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to go there. Isn't it? Um, the only mascara I have right now. I do need to get more, but I don't, I'm not, I don't think mascara is something that I should or need a whole bunch of. So I just have the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And I don't think it, it it's too bad. Um, The other day I did have, um, it did transfer under my eyes a little. I don't know if it was the way I applied it or the mascara because yesterday I didn't have that issue. Hey guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. My phone just like literally just closed out of my camera. This is a very weird wand. <laughs> very, very interesting. I don't want to go too crazy. Um, even though I trust the lady that gave that told me, you know, that helped me pick out my shade. Because she totally seemed like she knew what she was talking about. So we're gonna try um, this brush and then we will go in with the beauty blender if need be. But this brush worked so well yesterday. Oh, and I, um, my live glam subscription right now, um, they are doing um, $5 whippies. I mean, they, some of them are more than five too, but like that's their big deal is that they have five dollar whippies right now um so what did i do oh i just got some foundation on my lid we'll fix that here in a little bit um so i picked i ordered one for me and one for each girl or sorry two for me and one for violet and one for lily so i am super excited to to try it. I've never tried their whippies, only the Morphe. Uh, 
definitely the Morphe subscription. Sorry, you guys, I was trying to concentrate under there. Um, the Morphe brushes. I've never gotten any of their lippies at all. Um, so I'm excited to to try it out. I'm gonna don't worry, we're not we're not done. <laughs> I'm going back in with my beauty blender. I just like to place it with the brush. Um anyway, so yeah, that has shipped out and then we have um uh the the subscription for the brush, the Morphe brush subscription. Um should be um I wanna say here in the next like couple weeks because the 23rd is when all right sorry guys um i apparently didn't make sure i had enough space on my phone that's what the problem was so i did just delete some files um i don't i don't know what i was saying to be honest i don't remember what we were talking about so sorry <laughs> I think this is a good shade. That lady helped me pick it out and she did a good job. Probably could apply a little, oh, okay, just because I have it. Probably could apply a little bit more, but I might have over here to cover that up. But yeah, good shade. I still gotta get on my neck, I know. I haven't forgotten about that shade. It's very hydrating. I feel, I can definitely feel it. It's definitely hydrating for sure. I like how it's it's just giving it a natural like little glow too right here on my nose and up here on my eyes. I like that. Let's get this put back on. I'm gonna wet my sponge a little bit more. Um, ah. <laughs> oh man, man. Anyways, oh so the girls have to report cards, Lillian did really good, uh, especially for, you know, all this online learning crap that they had to do. Um, she did pretty good. She definitely, uh, one of the biggest things that her report card said was missing assignments. You know, we felt like she's, she's old enough to know to do her schoolwork. So we, you know, when she had an assignment and she told us she did it, we listened. Yeah, we are like, okay, she did her schoolwork, it's done. And there were some times that that was not the case with her, so. Um, but other than that, she did great. She passed. Um, so, out of her. And the Violet, Miss Violet. I am really proud of her. She, uh, if any of you guys are new to my channel and you just so happen to be this being your first one to watch, I don't think I'm going to get that really covered up well, that cut. Let's see where it is. I think because I just put a lot more on over there. I can maybe try to cover it with my Tarte Shape Tape. I might try that. Um, concealer is the next thing for us. Okay, I need to put my mirror a little bit closer. Oh, I just got that all dirty. Anyways, um, if you haven't, you know, ever watched my channel, this is your first time. My oldest daughter, Violet, has um, sense of your learning disabilities. Like, her IQ, so I have a youngest that is not, or 10, sorry, 10. And Violet's IQ matches hers. Violet's IQ is not of a almost 14 year old. She's 13, going on 14 in October. Um, she's pretty severely mentally, intellectually, I should say, not mentally, intellectually disabled. Um, and she did amazing. Her report card, I'm so proud of her. We are taking her to do something. I don't know what. I don't know if we're taking her to dinner, taking her out to do something fun, giving her money. I don't know yet. Her and I have to talk, but... 
she got all A's and then one B in life skills math. The math is so hard for her, so hard. I think math and science are the two subjects that she really struggles with. Um, and the only reason why she got me in that is she forgot about a test and the fact that they had online learning and she, you know, got all A's plus one B. Like, I was really concerned that she was going to have, like, C's and D's, um, possibly F's. So I was so happy and so excited that she had all A's. I'm so proud of her. She worked really hard. We didn't have any problems with her telling us that she did schoolwork, like with Lillian, which is interesting because Lillian went to school. I just think maybe part of it was that it wasn't, you know, she wasn't at school with her friends. So I'm going to go ahead and use my shape tape concealer to try to conceal that. We'll see if it works. And then we are going to use the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind for under the eyes. That works really well for under my eyes. I used to use tape shape for under my eyes and I just couldn't understand why it wasn't like it was caking really bad, really clumpy. I just think it's such a thick product. I think that's what it is. It's such a thick product that for me, because I have oh people scared. <laughs> um it just didn't I get that under my eye because I don't want my two concealers everywhere. Um, it just didn't conceal very well, but it works well to cover up other things, except this. I'm just not gonna get that concealer. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. It's not concealing. Maybe I should have put like my uh. What do you Primer on it, maybe it would have said that. Oh, yeah, I still got to do under my under here for foundation. I think that's the best I'm gonna get it as far as that goes. As far as like getting that concealed, it's not, it's not concealing, it's a pretty gnarly cut. And it still was bleeding this morning. I have a bleeding disorder, so um, I don't clot when I bleed a lot, a lot of times. And that sure was the case with this cut, so I had to. I have medication I take um, very sparingly. I only take it when, like, um, I'm bleeding and won't stop. And I had a band-aid on it all night, and it didn't stop. So I had to take that clotting medication this morning. Alright, so now I'm just gonna get this under my neck. Uh, <laughs> under my neck here. And then I'll get the concealer under my eyes and then we will set it and then move on. Sometimes I feel like I can get through my makeup pretty fast and then other days I feel like it takes me forever. I like this um, foundation. I feel like I have very textured skin, so I don't, I don't think it hides that very well. But I think that's what the. Um, okay, um, I think that's what the conceal and define would be for. This one is just conceal and hydrate. But I think that Lee did a really good job picking my colors. The hug you see did her work. Or color, sorry. And then I just got the same shade in the other one. It's this. It's a Revolution too. It's just their um, Conceal and Defined. All right, I need to pick some more of this up because we're almost running out. I use this for under my eyes, and I've used it for a while now. Um, it works really well for me. I have found even just new, okay, I was going to show that I didn't stop again, um, just new ways to even apply this, like, I have just trial and error is what I'm learning, really. I wonder, my battery's dying for this mirror, 
Because it keeps going like. Um, like. Dark to light. Dark to light. Dark to light. Um, should I? I'm going to try and use my Morphe G41 to just kind of sew it under here. And put very much on. And I usually don't. Um, that's one thing I've definitely learned. With concealer, you don't want to cake it on or that's going to look like poo. But at least use, use that to get it on and then I can uh, put a little bit on. Then I can... I can't think of... Then I can uh, use the beauty blender to blend it out more. I'm honestly not sure how well this brush works for it, but I feel like it's it works better than any of the other ones I have. So, and then I always just bring some up over here because I have very dark green veins on the side of my what's that oh maybe if I used a brush to conceal that it might have concealed that's okay like I said not going anywhere I'm not too concerned about my look today I mean I want to look nice don't get me wrong obviously but I'm not too concerned if that's not gonna blend why did it just take off? That's so weird. I, I put this on and then I just made my beauty, beauty blenders too wet. Let me grab a different one. I'm just gonna grab a different one than like we wanted. It may have been too wet. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Just a little too wet. <laughs> it's not, it's not a, a big deal, I don't think, to wet your beauty blenders. Um, I know some people don't. I know, yeah, I know some people that don't wet them, but I feel like for me personally, it helps me get my stuff on easier. I'm sorry guys, it's taken me so long today with my makeup. I'm so sorry. I feel like when I have new products to try, it usually takes me longer. And I think it's just because I'm like analyzing everything about the product. I'm like wanting to take my time to try it out. So, um be a good like review and things like that and I'll be using this makeup the new makeup that I haven't used um until today all week um that way I know like if I like it or not um that's what I do is I go ahead and use the same plus then you're not putting a bunch of makeup on you know all week and really just overloading your face because I've done that I recently have done that actually <laughs> um but I will be trying it throughout the week so I will be able to tell you guys my thoughts on it how I like all of you know how I like the mascara or the mascara the foundation um the bronzer today that I'm so excited about I am honestly so excited for the bronzer we were trying Okay, doesn't look too bad under the eyes. I don't go for like a full on coverage because I feel like with my eyes, if I do that, it just, like I said, cakes on because I've got like fine lines and wrinkles, even though I use um, a cream for that. 
Can't fix everything on our faces, ladies. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and set. And for under my eyes, to set under there, we're gonna brighten the face with that under eye. We are going to use, I can find it, my friend Karen, that's also on YouTube, um, Karen's Corner. She is making these adorable makeup um, makeup brush holders, and I'm totally going to be ordering one from her. I just can't figure out what to have her put on it. Like, what type of saying? Like, what should it say? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, all right. Um, I wanted to try a different brush for this today. I wonder... If the concealer brush, which is what I normally use under there, I wanted to try that brush. I honestly think this looks better to conceal under my eyes than the one that I use, the Morphe one. So I probably won't use that one again, but that's okay. Now, we're going to go with the same one that I always use. I don't have a ton of brushes right now, but I have some coming. And I have Ipsy Plus and BoxyCharm now. So I should be getting brushes. And, um, and Boxy, or I mean... Ipsy, I do, because I put one as an add-on, so. But I should be getting brushes in at least one of those boxes every couple months. Like, I have two boxes now. Like, that would be ridiculous to have two boxes and not have any brushes, you know, at least every so often. All right, so first we're going to conceal under the eyes. If I can get the plastic thing off. I hate these plastic things. I keep them on because I don't want the powder to go everywhere, but I hate them. They're such a pain. All right, so I'm just going to pour some in my lid. I don't like loose powders either, but Physicians Formula is such a good brand. I wanted to try this out, but I am definitely going to be looking into a pressed powder over a loose powder here shortly. And we'll have another power to try out. So I'm just going to sweep under my eye. I don't want to put a lot on. Um, I have very textured skin. And my skin um, is a mix between oily and dry. Some days it's just oily and some days it's both. So I don't like to put a lot on. Just a little. I feel like it definitely brightens up under the eyes here. I think it works very well. It's also very soft. It's a very soft, lightweight material. I definitely need a better brush for this too. But be patient, Don. You have two boxes now. <laughs> Got some blood in my face. Uh, I had the Ipsy Glam bag, and now it's the Ipsy Plus, and then Boxy Charm. So, like I said, I should be getting brushes. Um, I know I get, I have one as an add-on for my um, Ipsy, and then I also purchased. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Um, I also purchased um, a set, the Banning Bannington Bannington something like that. Um, duo, duo, I can't speak, um, brush set and boxy charm in their charmer room. So I do know I have three brushes coming in those two boxes. Maybe more if, you know, boxy charm. I don't know I'm getting an MC, but if boxy charm gives me any brushes, which I really hope they do because um, one of the things I wanted from their last month's bag box um, was their billion dollar brush set billion dollar charcoal brush brush blah, 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 blah. brush set really wanted that so that's when I was like oh my god why didn't I like oh, sorry guys I'm just trying to get the brightening stuff back in this container and then grab um, the setting powder for the rest of my face um so I was like why didn't I get this sooner darn it like <laughs> Why didn't I get pick this up before? I just I I've heard conflicting things about boxing charm, and honestly, that's why that's why I didn't. Um, so you know what? I think I'm gonna mix. 
yeah, I'm going to mix. I'm going to put some of the pink in it as well. Give it some brightening effect as well. Brighten up the whole face. I just I know, guys. That's what we're going to do. Um, so, yeah, that's why, guys. I just... I just heard such conflicting things. But, you know what? I decided to give them a try. So, we'll see. Besides, I am very excited for my Ipsy and to try box charm, and hopefully they send me those brushes. If not, I have my eye out on them on Macari and um, eBay, and I will pick them up because people are selling them for pretty darn cheap. So I will, I will pick them up myself if I don't get them in Boxy Charm. Wow, that really does brighten up your face. I mean, it. I knew it did my eyes because I did that yesterday. And I've done it again today. But I didn't put the brightening on my face yesterday, just under my eyes. I just set my, my eyes with the brightening powder um, and then just the regular powder for my face. But... Um, I don't like to use a lot and I definitely try to get it evened out because of having the textured skin and the combination of oily dry skin. It used to just be oily, but now that I have to wear a mask all the time, my skin just hates me. I like that. What do you guys think? I like it. I think it looks good. All right, I think we're done. Swishing that around. Alright. I always make such a mess with these powders. That's like the biggest thing that I have to clean up when I do my makeup. Alright. So I am so excited for this bronzer, guys. I'm so excited. Um, I showed you guys a while back. I was checking up on my feet. Oh my gosh, so smooth. And then we'll do a setting spray as well. So smooth though. I wish that could be covered, but it is what it is, right? I don't know why my mirror keeps like changing from super bright to like dark. I need my mirror to be on right now. And it's so dirty. I like clean this mirror and then before I do my makeup and then by the time I'm done, it's so dirty again. And I'm just going to shut it off and then turn it back on. And hopefully that does it. I think it's the batteries. I think the batteries I put in it weren't full batteries. And that's why. We'll just work with it. Anyways, I'm so excited. We are finally trying the L'Oreal Browns, please. Oh, or Bronze, please. Browns, please. Bronze, please. And I am so excited to try it. All right, um, we are going to use, I don't remember what type of brush these are, the one that I just used for um, my powder, and I have that brush, this one, and then I think I have one eyeshadow brush from them. Yeah, one eyeshadow brush. It doesn't have the brand on it, and I don't remember. I got it from um, Either my husband or kids for birthday or Christmas or something like that. I honestly don't remember what the brand is or what I got it for. I just remember one of those people gave it to me. So we're going to use this for my bronzer. And we're going to go in very lightly at first because I don't know um, what it's going to look like. It's super pretty. Just really soft. I have powder on my hands. Um, and I got this in the shade, where's the shade? I think I took it off. Oh, La Terra, La Terra, La Terra. All right. Mm. I get kind of nervous sometimes when I try a new bronzer. 
I don't want to look ridiculously stupid, right? I mean, who wants that? Not me. Okay. Especially because I'm still kind of new to this bronzer. Yeah, it's got to be the battery that just went to work again. I'm going to try. I'm going to start on this side. I always start on this side. And I always feel like this side always looks worse than this side with my bronzer. Does anyone else have that problem? Do you see that like one side of your face looks better than the other? Definitely with bronzer for me. Okay, we're going to start up here. Uh, this is, I can't use that. That's way too loose. I need something that's a little bit more packed. I don't like that. I don't like that brush. I wonder if this one will work. That's going to be too big, I think. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my Real Techniques brush. Um, it's the Real Technique Rebel Edge Medium. It's the 403. Sorry, guys. I just, uh-uh. I could already feel that was going to be a hot mess. It's just way too loose. I didn't have any control. And I like to have some control um, with my bronzer. With like my high or my eyeshadows for like um, blending and stuff, I don't mind not having control. But because I like the brush doing that work itself, but I do not like my bronzer not having control of that. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. We'll definitely go back in and blend it out. Don't worry. We're not just going to leave a harsh line right there. And it's coming across on camera pretty dark, but I don't know about in person because this is pretty light um, right there, like my mirror, and I can't tell what will come back through and blend out. We're just going to leave it like that. Call it good, right? <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna put a little bit more on my brush and go to the other side. I've also been doing my nose lately and under my chin, just playing around with that. Never, never did before, but I'm doing it now. <laughs> it's a new brush right. or not a new brush but I've only used this brush like twice for my bronzer so maybe I've got to get used to can I go a little higher up on that one then oh they look the same okay it's such a pretty color though I like it. Oh, Beth may think it'll look better once I get it blended out more. What is, um, tell me what your guys' favorite, like, story brand bronzer is, because I'm always looking for a new, you know, affordable, cheap bronzer and highlighter. I actually don't have all that many highlighters, to be honest. I really don't. Okay, and we're gonna go under the chin here. Okay. All right, now to do my nose, I have been using. Morphe E15, and then I used another one. Um, but this is the one I used yesterday, and I think it worked well. So. So, yes, indulge me in your favorite. Um, Favorite drugstore cheap bronzer. 
um, all for knowing about cheap drugstore brands. Okay. Um, what am I going to use to go ahead and blend it out, though? Hmm. I have a couple brushes that are actually for buffing it out. Um, where's my... No, that's not it. Where's my It Cosmetic brush? Put that one. That's off. That's off. That's the new one. That's Morphe. Where's my It Cosmetics? Oh, here it is. All right. I'm going to use my It Cosmetics um, I got from Ulta to blend. I think it's such a pretty color. And I love like this brush too. I think it blends very, very well. It's got such pretty, soft, amazing I mean, look at that. Look how well that's blended it out. Did I blend too much? On the other side, I'm going to go back in. I need to get close up. And this even works well to blend, like, this. The nose too. This is called a nose. See? Pretty cool, huh, guys? Okay, I'm gonna get a little close up. Okay, I gotta stand up for a minute and look in my bathroom mirror because going off of this mirror and that, like, it's like gone on this side. It looks like in almost that side. So I'm gonna double check real quick. So I'll be right back. Huh. Interesting. It like took it away almost. Oh, weird. All right. Well, I'm going to put just a little bit more back on. Um, not much. Very interesting. I gotta play around with my brushes. That's never happened before, and I've used this brush. Maybe I blend in too rough. I don't know. All right, we're just gonna leave it alone. Leave it alone, and I can fix it later. All right, and then the last thing before our setting spray is I'm going to use a Physician's Formula Dewy Highlighter Stick. I've not used this in a long time. And I was just warming it up while we were doing our bronzer. Um, I'm going to use, I'm going to try out using this, what I've used for my concealer. But I'm going to try it for this highlighter. So I'm just putting a little bit on my brush and I totally got it on the side, oops. And I'm gonna apply it to the face. Almost done, ladies, I'm so sorry. Such a long freaking video, huh? All right, and I'm just gonna sweep it on like this. It is a like stick highlighter, so there's I think endless like ways to apply stick highlighter. Some people use the stick, some people use their finger. I've done both, and some people use a brush. And I just want to use a brush today. No particular reason why I just want to use a brush. Oh man, this mirror sucks when the batteries are dying. I'm gonna have 
do. Give some better. And then I'll just blend it out with my beauty blender too. Get some new batteries for it. Such a pretty color. See, I think it's lighting. Like, I'm talking about the bronzer, by the way. I think it's lighting for that bronzer because I couldn't even see it until I turned my head right here and now I can see it again. So I think it's more a lighting issue than anything. Okay. I know that looks horrible. I know, ladies, but I'm going to blend it all out. Don't worry. And I'm going to put some down the nose. On the tip of my nose. And I used to not warm. I used to wear this stick highlighter all the time. And I used to not warm it up with my hands. Or in between your legs even. You can do that. That's what I was doing. Um, and it totally makes a difference if you do. So anytime you have like a stick or a cream type of highlighter or bronzer. My advice is totally warm it up between, between something where there's heat. All right, I'm going to grab my e.l.f. small precision brush for my cupid's bow. And then we're just going to put a little bit on here. Then we're going to spray down my face with setting spray and we're done. Finally, right? I'm sorry, guys. And I just flip the other side over so I can just blend it in. That didn't really blend it very well, did it? I don't want a tin man glow today. So that's why we're doing this. It's a very pretty, pretty highlighter. It just doesn't have a massive glow to it, which is okay because I don't want one today. At least I don't want to look like the Tin Man. All right. Probably should close that. I'll break it. Oh. All right. So I'm going to take my Beauty Blender. Oh, drop that one. And just blend. I'm going to blend this out. So it's not just like a streak. It's not just like this big streak line on my face. And then set it with setting spray, my elf setting spray, then we'll be done. I definitely want to pick up other setting sprays. I've been interested in other ones. I want to try out other setting sprays. All right. This one I feel like sprays a little too much sometimes, to be honest. All right, ladies, I might go ahead and go back through. Um, you know what? I'm gonna let you guys go because I've had you for well over an hour. I'm gonna go back through and kind of blend out the bronzer because once I scoot it back, I can definitely see it. So I think it was just my lighting issue and then for my setting spray on. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and joining me and um, I will see you guys not next week because this video is going to you guys on Monday the 13th. Um, sorry, the 12th, right? No, the 13th, yes. Monday the 13th. Um, it will be going up. I will post it in the morning um, before we leave. Um, and then I will be seeing you guys that following week. Um, I think what I'm going to start doing is actually taping my videos beforehand and then um, uploading them to you guys um, on my days off or or whatever days um i don't think i'm gonna up do a video and upload it that day i think i'm gonna start setting certain days that i film and upload for you guys um so uh, i'm sorry my husband was messaging me he's going to pick up miss lillian all right guys so i just want to thank you so much for watching and um make sure you stay tuned for the next get ready with me because that's gonna be some fun tart products super excited to try and thank you guys so much for watching Bye.